Today we create typographic animation in After Effects. Hey guys, what is up? This is Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create this really simple, nice and cool looking text typographic animation in After Effects. So, Without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So as always, let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be our main comp. So let's name this main 1920 into 1080, 30 frames, 10 seconds look good enough and hit OK. So now you can create any text or type in anything that you want to. So I'm going to type in the same thing that I showed in the example before. So let's type in a first text that is going to be motion and just align this in the center just like so. I'll change the font to something like a unisans bold maybe. Let's find that. There we go. Yep, that looks pretty good. And let's set this to around 150 pixels and align this in the center. There we have it. So now what I can do is I can go right over here, hit P to bring down the position and animate our position of the text. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hit Ctrl Z to undo it. Click right over here and click this option where it says animate. I'm going to add a position. So now we have two position controls. One is this one and one we have as the basic one right over here. So now what we can do is we can go into animator one and animate the position. So we can start by animating the position just like that. So let's place it somewhere around there. Create a new keyframe at the very beginning of the timeline. I'll go to let's say 15 frames and bring this down to zero. So now we have this really lame animation. So let's select this, hit F9 to easy ease them, go to graph editor and maybe I'll just pull this up like so. And there we have something like that pretty simple right now what I can do is I can add a bounce expression that I have right over here and I'm gonna provide the link in the description so you can download this expression so let's copy this up hit ctrl C to copy it go right over there hold alt and click on the position property on the stopwatch and hit ctrl V to paste it up and now if I just I can just find that handle my god, I can't even find that handle you right over there. Now, there is a lot of thing that goes into an expression, but I'm not going to go in depth or totally in depth. Maybe I'll create a different video for that. Now, the most important two properties are here right now is the frequency and the amplitude. Now, you can see if I just play it, you can see we already have this really cool looking. Just make this bit big. You can see we already have this really cool looking bounce. Now, you can go and manipulate the amp. So, if I make this point maybe around 8. You can see we get this really heavy shake now if I want a subtle shake a subtle bounce maybe I'll set this to minus 2.2 2, I mean so here we have a subtle bounce now if I want to create a really fast motion between the bounce that is the frequency we can increase this to maybe 10 so it's gonna be something like that a pretty heavy you know kind of a rumble or wiggle you can say but I'm gonna set this to 5 leave this to 5 and I think that looks pretty cool. You can go and try different numbers if you want to, you know. So there we have a really simple text animation done with the first one. So now what we can do is we can create a second text that is going to be graphics. So you can just select this text, make it 3D first of all. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, bring this down and let's rename this to graphics. There we go and we can just, you know, bring this down. And cause we have two position keyframes or two position properties, it's not going to affect the animation of the position. As you can see. So now we can just select the graphics and change the font to something. Let's go with a semi bold. Or maybe I'll go with. Maybe let's go with a regular and just bring this down like so. Somewhere on there. And place it somewhere on there. So you can see we have the same animation. So we need to change the animation of the graphics text. So to do that, I'm going to select the graphic layer and hit U to bring down the keyframe so we can see it. Select the keyframes 
and I'm just move it forward like so. So now we have something like that. So let's change the animation of the graphics. So I'm going to go right over here on the first keyframe, set this to zero and bring this up like so. There we have it. So now we have something like that. You see? Now to mask it up, you can create a track mat by creating a new shape layer. You don't need a stroke. And create a shape layer like so. Just align this in the center. Maybe I'll bring it a bit down like so. Let's rename this to mat underscore or one bring this above the graphics text and set the track mat to alpha inverted and now we have something like this really simple and easy to now I'm gonna change the frequency of the graphics and in graphic text animation a bit so I'm gonna go right over there in the expression and change the frequency to around Let's, let's keep the frequency 5 and change the amplitude to around 4. So now we have a bit more bounce in the graphics. As you can see, you can make it maybe around 6 as well to make it look really nice and you know bouncy. But I think 4 was good, so I'm gonna hit Ctrl Z to undo it. Yeah, this is looking pretty cool and really simple to create, nothing great. So let's create a third text that is gonna be for. So let's hit you so we can see the keyframes. Go right over here. Just duplicate this. And I'm gonna set this to no track mat. Bring this down, and this is gonna be our for text. There we have it. Let's bring this. Oh, let's bring this down somewhere around there. And change the font to something like a Let's go for a bold one, so Unisans bold, and increase the size obviously, something like that, place it in the position like so, yep, that is pretty good, you know, obviously use rulers, but I'm just not doing, I'm, I'm pretty lazy at these things, maybe, that's why I'm not going to use a ruler, I'm a really lazy person, anyways, so here we have our text, oh, it looks pretty cool although, you can see, already looking pretty cool so let's change the animation for our uh, for text with you so we can see the keyframe for the position go to one second drag this keyframes right over there and let's set this to zero okay and just bring it right out like that so now we have something like this so we can just select the mat one, hit Control D to duplicate it. Just bring this above our vertex. Let's turn this on so we can see it. Make it 3D as well. We need to make everything 3D. Make sure to do that. Forgot to do it. Just bring this right over there. Increase the scale. Just like that. Change the track mat to alpha inverted. And now we have a vertex animation as well. See, it looks pretty cool, really simple to do and looks really, really cool. So now we can do is what we can do is we can create a new null object. Let's name this controller. Very important to name the layers. So just select them and parent everything to this controller and make it 3D as well. And then we can just move our controller layer and the animation is not going to get affected. So we can turn on our title action safe and place our animation in the center, something like that. And oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the position. Let's hit P to bring down the position. Let's set this back to the original position that is 960, 960 by 540. Let's select the 4 and hit U so we can see the keyframes. Go right over there. And we're going to animate the position. So I'm going to go right over here. And bring this just like that. So now we have something like that. It makes it look a bit more cool. So you can select the keyframes, so definitely to easy ease them. Go to graph editor and make it something like that. 
you can see now it looks a bit more dynamic and looks really really cool and one more thing that I can do is select the motion hit U so you can see the keyframes right over there and animate the scale so we can go right over here set this to around 150 so we have something like that see really subtle animation looks pretty cool maybe I'll set this to 150 as well right away here and from here I'm gonna add an animation right over here to 100 so now we have something like that which is not at all looking good let's fix this right over here copy this keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v to copy it yeah select this keyframes hit f9 to easy ease them go to graph editor select this keyframes first go to graph editor and create kind of a peak something like that select this keyframes and actually we don't need to select this keyframe we can just delete it we don't need it select this and delete delete it so now we have something like that you can see it's pretty fast but i guess so let's go put it right over there see maybe i'll just need to tweak the graph editor a bit like that maybe a bit more yep that is looking actually pretty cool you can also turn on the motion blur which is gonna make things look a bit more organic i'll say a bit more good you can say a bit more nice good organic cool whatever you can say yep this is looking pretty cool actually yeah we are going good we're going good man so let's type in our last tag that is after effects so let's see where we ended right over here so let's type in our text Oh, why we are typing? We need to just duplicate it actually. So hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, bring this down, change the track map to none, and let's type in After Effects. There you go. Let's place it right over there. And bring the size down a bit. That is just too big. Maybe somewhere around there. And increase the distance a bit and then what I can do is I can animate the after effects as well so hit U so we can see the position keyframes drag them right over there all right somewhere around there go to this keyframe select it and just drag it just like that select the track mat Control D to duplicate it bring this above after effects this you see it spring it right over there somewhere around there there we go and now what I can do is change the track map to alpha inverted and now we have our after effects text but it's not completely there select this and just bring this out there we go right over there drag this out why is this not working man i don't know the position is not just working oh we are animating the position we are animating i was tweaking this position and that we don't need to do i'm gonna animate this position so let's drag it just out like so sometimes you get confused okay i'm a human being like you know i can make mistakes as well please ignore me I'm sorry for that so now we have something like that so let's animate a controller as well so let's hit P to bring down the position properties and I'm gonna animate the controller to somewhere around there maybe so let's see what we have Yep, that is doing pretty good actually. Let's select this with a graph editor. 
and I'll just bring this just like that. Yeah, that is looking actually pretty cool. Let's see it. Yeah, this is looking really, really nice. Better than the example, I feel so. So there we have our really nice looking text. Now you can do pretty cool things with this. So you can just select this pre-com. Let's name this text and turn off our title action safe. Then we can duplicate it. And I'm going to displace this by one frame. Select the second one and add a fill to it. Change the color to something. Oh, I'm going to select the first one and add a fill. Let's delete this one. Now to fill pretty quick. And now you can see we have two copies and that is why we can see a little bit of artifact of the behind layer that is this one you can see. So to fix this you can add a simple choker. Just minimal maybe 1.5. Maybe 1.2 I guess. Yep 1.2 works pretty good. Maybe 1.5 I guess 1.5 was perfect. You can see the difference. And then we get something like this, which looks pretty good. See, really interesting effect and you can create number of copies. Maybe I'll create one more and displace them one frame like that and add a fill to this. Maybe make it kind of a yellow color and add a blind, vanity and blinds to this one. Maybe let's see where we have right over there. Increase it like that. Maybe 30 degrees and make it something like that. And you can see really simple, really cool, and interesting. So, yep, that is a wrap for today. I hope this video will be helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video which is going to be a super lengthy tutorial it's going to be pretty big one maybe around 40 to 45 minutes but a really in-depth one so stay tuned for that and i'll see you in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative